Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my question is for the Premier. Speaker, following a massive public backlash against the Premier's cuts to municipalities, he's decided to give them a bit more runway. Runway, I think, was the word used before bringing down the acts on childcare, ambulance services, and public health. But when it comes to our schools, the runway to adapt to this government's massive education cuts is getting shorter every day. These cuts will hit students hard this fall as they return to larger classes and fewer course options and less time with teachers and other education workers. Speaker, school boards are finalizing their budgets right now. It is not too late for the Premier to do the right thing. Will he reverse his cuts to our schools? The question in place of the Premier. Minister of Education. This is the Minister of Education. Thank you very much. And Speaker, I'd like to start off by saying perhaps the member opposite missed the memo. We're actually increasing yep. spending in education ah. by the tune of $700 million. And again, we are getting education back on track because we inherited a system that was absolutely broken and failing our students. So we need to take steps to, in terms of getting it back on track. And let me tell you, we're working with our school boards. And I'm pleased to say when I was in Northern Ontario last week, the school board, the Kuwait and oh, sorry, Saul, Kuwait and Patricia school board actually indicated to me that they will be able to find 4%. Other school boards across this province are keeping their head down and working with us and identifying ways to achieve efficiencies and you know the fact of the matter is we are working on introducing an opportunity for school boards to work with us Spons? we've invited them to come forward and say yeah we would like to take per, uh, participate in the audit and accountability exercise that you're working through because surely school boards across this province can find four thank you Thank you. Supplementary question. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and back to the Premier. I, I got to ask you, what does this government have against kids? <laughs> Cutting $69 million from children's mental health, slashing our classrooms. And I'm happy to brief the Minister, uh, Mr. Speaker, on how her budget is shortchanging our kids. Every single day, more teachers and education workers are being handed pink slips. This government knows it. We know it. Families know it. Students know it. I heard firsthand Order. last week from parents and teachers in North Bay and the Minister of Finance's own writing where half of all secondary teachers in a single board stand to be lost, along with Order. 62 in elementary school. 62. Speaker, as we sit here, government side are come to being order. forced to recollect their come courses. To right. It's causing enormous anxiety, Mr. Speaker, and the programs that help our most vulnerable students are at risk. Will the Premier take a second look and change course before it is too late? Minister of Education. Do you know what, You're Speaker? Not. I have to tell you, I absolutely reject all the dramatic preposterous nonsense that's coming from that member opposite. All the drama that she's trying to create, sincerely, I say to her, it has no merit whatsoever. When we go across the province, uh, the member from Niagara West actually shared with me that no teachers are losing their job. You know, the, if, as we go school board to school board, we are going to get it right, and we're working with our partners. And you know, let's talk about our budget. You know, our plan and education that works for you is absolutely gearing up to make sure that after 15 years of failing our students by the Liberal government under Kathleen Wynne and Dalton Montgomery, we're getting things back on track. I met with the Ontario Student Trustee Association last Thursday, Friday, excuse me, and they are absolutely on board with making sure that we're engaged and we're preparing students for the job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's considerable noise on both sides of the house, and it's rising.